Hey guys! 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 Hey, 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 guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Welcome to hour 14 of Garbage Day 2020 Garbage Year, a live stream benefiting the National Network of Abortion Funds. Please keep those donations rolling in. Donations like the one from Shameboy69. <laughs> Who is asking us? Is this how you buy a sexy spooky doll? No, it's not. <laughs> but thank you for your donation. Ladies and gentlemen and all the ships at sea. Tonight is a very special night because I wanted to bring to you something very special that I worked on too hard. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel Songer Entertainment and Comedy Hour. Now, for those of you who don't know... Daniel Songer is a strange little man who lives in Georgia and he films himself <laughs> performing bizarre improvised stand-up comedy routines in his backyard to no one except his camera. Uh, Daniel Songer is a self-published poet, an author of a few screenplays, and he is a minor YouTube sensation. And uh, if you're familiar with him, you know that he has a very specific delivery style i mean every good comedian does it's his trademark uh however i would like to put it to our readers that they are not allowed to do a daniel songer impression tonight That's That's probably the best tonight we are going to be diving into the world of daniel songer's comedy acts these are transcripts of his youtube videos which i've done my best to um uh, you know, clean up, make sure that they're legible oh. and and everything and true to his words. And uh, you'll also notice that uh, anytime he starts singing, I have uh, set that into a special uh, thing so you know when he is singing and when he is not. And that that's really the only distinction that I'm going to draw. Uh, don't don't imitate his voice. And when you see the singing, it's time to sing. Uh, <coughs> Boots rain gear. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is gonna be so fucking hard. I would like for you to bring us to, I mean, let's start at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Please read Comedy Act Part 1. Okay. Hi, my name is Daniel Songer. I am a singer, songwriter, poet. I have written a couple of screenplays, artistic dancer, and now I'm a comedian. And I know what you're thinking. I know what's on your minds. <laughs> Artistic dancer? Well, here's something to make you smile. Let's all do the turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Let's all do the turn around. Let's all. Let's all. Let's all do the turn around. Turn around. That's my artistic dancing. It's like the unplugged version of Daniel Summer. Uh, here's the comedy no. act. Hey, I was out my backyard drilling and I struck oil. It was a gusher. It's really fucking hard, Adam. I know Daniel Sager so I well. I know. <laughs> okay, I okay. Know. I, got, I got this. I got this. I could do this. I found out later that the gas station next door lost all of their oil. That's the end of my joke. Hey, <laughs> you know how you're traveling down a road and all you see is construction signs, construction barrels, detour signs, and you get down <laughs> on the end of it and there's nothing going on? Well, this is how it goes. Hello, Mats. We just got 3,000 construction barrels in. What do you want us to do with them? Well, take them and put them on I-75 for three miles. Leave them out there for a week until we figure out what to do with them. 
works in every. It just works. Is there like a canned laughter thing on the soundboard? <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! Mines are road Hit trip. It. Yeah. Road trip. Any one of you guys? Road trip. Road trip. Any one of you guys been out there on yeah. a road trip? Road yeah. trip. Road trip. Road trip. <laughs> Well, I went on a road trip with my with two of my buddies. We went down to Cocoa Beach, Florida, and my friend said, we're going to get get whatever we're going to get at the liquor store, and we're just get what we're going to get, and that's going to be one trip. <laughs> well, my friend, he buys a case of beer, and well, I bought a gallon of Jack Daniels, and we get down to the beach, it's and they got big discrepancy. <laughs> and they got bands strung out on the beach. Oh, I don't know every quarter, half a mile beach, just band after band. I went through the bands, and I was pouring shots for all the girls. And I get down to the, uh, to where I had to relieve myself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Cool. We got we got a double up on the funny numbers. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh nice. Weed nice. <laughs> nice. Weed so nice. I go out into the ocean. I'm peeing and all this. I hear a really good song from a band and I turn around. I'm watching the band and I'm peeing and all of a sudden I'm watching the band turns around and starts watching me and I'm like, what's going on? What's going on? Well, I quickly realized the water was at my knees. No. Blind oh. dates? Blind dates. Anyone been on a blind date out there? Well, I went on a blind date, and what my blind date was in <laughs> Athens, Georgia. And if you know anything about Athens, Georgia, that's where the University of Georgia is. Georgia Bulldogs! <laughs> Any Bulldogs fans out there? Well, I get there. I got my truck and my blind date. She comes running in. Get back in your truck. Get back in your truck. I'm like, what's going on? What's going on? She says, you're going to get shot. Get back in your truck. And like, I'm worry. <laughs> With worry, I'm like, what's up? What's up? She said, you're wearing Tennessee colors, orange and white. Get back in your truck. Crazy, huh? Crazy, huh? <laughs> That's the joke. <laughs> like a... Uh, Bill Shatner's spoken word version. Of it. <laughs> oh, I love it. Hey, yeah, yeah. I uh, went over to the Golden Corral. I don't know if guys ever heard of it. <laughs> it's a restaurant, chain of restaurants. But I go into the Golden Corral, get something to eat, and I, of course, had to use the restroom. First, I go into the bathroom, and I go in there. There's this narrow hallway, narrow hallway, and it's like one side, two sinks, one sides of urinals, you know. The engineer who designed this thing must have been a complete idiot, because I thought it was like two feet to the sink, two feet to the urinal. You know, I saw going this corridor. I'm the only one in there, and I'm doing my business, you know, peeing in the toilet, and no mirror on the wall, so I don't know who's behind me. And so I did my business. I turn around and here's this guy washing his hands. I mean, he's got his butt hanging up that, up in the air. He's washing his hands, you know. And when you turn around, your natural instinct is to put out your hands. Well, I realized my hands were right there at his waist. And I said, oh, I didn't know I was gay. Thanks, oh, man. Daniel. Huh? <laughs> crazy. <laughs> crazy. Crazy. Hmm? I can tag out at this point. <laughs> uh, uh, all right. Yeah, I hear you. Um, I think we should move on to some of Daniel's later work. He tells a story about uh, the army, and it's very funny. Um, uh, Achilles Hillies. Oh, Adam. Do you mind uh, bringing us uh, Comedy Act 143, Girls Love Public Sex? Yeah, I, I would love to. Um, off screen, ladies and gentlemen, comedian, entertainer, Daniel Songer. K 
Comedian entertainer Daniel Songer. What was that? That was like a why me up twister, wasn't it? <laughs> you know, hey, <laughs> I made a new dance called the Jack Me Up. Jack me, jack me, jack me up. You know, jack me up, man, for Comedy Act 143. <laughs> you, know, you know, guys, you know, when a man is single and he goes on, you know what? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> It's, it's really killing. <laughs> is, Again, it just works. <laughs> so, sometimes year after year being single, it just gets harder and harder to get a girlfriend. But once you get a girlfriend, it's like every girl wants you, you know? It's like, where you been, baby? You know, it's like you get a girlfriend and they all want you. And well, I'm out, you know. Fuck. Come bike. on. I'm out, you know, riding my bike. And this guy pulls up to me on a bike and he's like, hey, man, you want to have a beer? You know? And I'm cool, you know? We, uh. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, we, uh, we, uh, stopped off at a bar and all of a sudden we got. A really nice kind of like a biker chick, you know, oh sit God. with us in, <laughs> in a, a real, real nice girl, you know. And then before I knew it, she was on my side of the table, massaging me, giving me a back scratching, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and before we knew it, you know, we got this line going on, you know, and I'm sorry, I'm just overcome. <clears throat> <laughs> and she's just like got her butt right in my groin you know right in there and i'm like massaging her waist you know and just getting it going on you know and she's like massaging this dude i meet you know another biker guy and she's massaging him we got a line going on you know and she's like you know tells the guy you know she's like whoa you know you got a nice butt and i'm like <laughs> i i'm not switching positions Oh, no way, you know? It's like, man, when I get ready to go out there, every girl in there wanted my phone number. It's like, man, you know, they just wanted it, man. They wanted it. Everyone want my number. And was like, you know, I started getting down like, massage with a little bit of shoving. Massage with a lot of loving. You know, come on, girls, you know. You got to be practically. You should probably come on the girls you know. That's... Yeah. Yeah, you probably should. That's just life advice. You got to be practically having sex in a public place before girls will want you, you know. You, you know, guys, right? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah, it's like we're practically having sex in a public place. And all these girls, you know, they wouldn't even let me leave the bar. They're like, everybody wants my number. Everybody wants massage. Massage with a little bit of shoving. Massage with a little bit of loving. Y you know, it was real cool, really cool. But you, but you know that. It's it's like I'm, I'm gonna go on and get myself a girlfriend, and then what happens? You get hundreds of girlfriends. You get hundred girlfriends, man. You get hundred <laughs> girlfriends, man. You know, hey, there was a bar, okay. Oh, sorry, it, it was creeping in again. <clears throat> <laughs> it happens. That, uh, that got their start by actually creating a name for themselves, which was Titties and Beer. <laughs> titties and Beer. I mean, you know what? That really attracted the man crowd. I mean, men would come for miles for Titties and Beer, you know? The only thing is, now when you go to that restaurant, it's all women. And, I mean, what does that tell you, you know? It tells me that women love... Titties and beer, titties and beer, women like titties and beer, titties and beer, titties and beer. Mm. What we all fear, the world is gone. Hmm. For titties and beer, you know, men, women, it's a free for all. Titties and beer, <laughs> lonely hearts, they shed the tear. Newsflash, more titties and beer. Daniel Songer. 
That was wonderful. It was. Oh. That was, and that's comedy. Wow. You see how he grew between Comedy yeah. Act Part One and Comedy Act One Forty Three. Now, come what's up? Oh yes, hello. Can you do me the favor of reading Comedy Act One Seventy Two, The Circle Jerk, and uh, give it a little gas? <laughs> There's one Uh-oh. thing Uh-oh. I have. Uh-oh. <laughs> There's one thing I have the that, that I learned after hosting uh, one of the previous hours of this podcast. It's that I have gas. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Christ. Um, Yay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, comedian entertainer Daniel Songer. Yay. Hey, how you doing? Good to see you guys again. Hey, you know what? I am up to Comedy Act 172. Comedy Act 172, and I have actually performed, performed here, 171 Comedy Acts. Two of them, Comedy Act 1, Comedy Act 2, was performed in Alabama and all of my other, you know, all the other Comedy Acts. Comedy Act 3 to 172 has been performed right here on Tranquility Hall. Well, right that's here, my the friend. name of where he lives. <laughs> <laughs> Tranquility Hall. <laughs> I am tranquil, as you can see, my friends, <laughs> right here, and you know what? Out of 172 comedy acts, I've never done a commercial, and so, this is my commercial. If you're feeling blue, all you have to do is take a look around. If you're feeling blue, all you have to do is go to... DanPoetMan.com If you're feeling blue, all you have to do is take a look around. DanPoetMan.com This has been a paid advertisement for Daniel Songer. <laughs> if you're feeling blue, all you have to do is Again? take a look around. DanPoetMan.com Man, you know there's so many people today that are so emotional. I mean, what? <laughs> you're talking. You know, the large population here. All people are very emotional. And do you know what they call an emotional person? And I didn't do it, man. It wasn't me. I didn't come up this, but they are all. What are they? Are they all? Scatter brains. They're scatter brains, man. They're emotional, out of control. They're scatter brains. Their emotions, out of control. They're scatter brains. Their emotions, out of control. Scatter brains, man. Hey, guys, you know people today, and I'm talking about lots and lots of people out there all over the world. They all have remotes to their vehicles, and remotes, you know, and well, what you do is you get out of your car, and everyone does this, okay? Get out of your car, you push the button, and what does that button do? It locks your doors, you know? Very relatable. Man, push it, push it real good! I do you know, know, though. And they lock the door. And they're every time they walk away, they are compelled to push it. Push it real good. They're gonna push it again. You know, and man, you know what? I'm in a parking lot on my motorcycle getting ready to out on man. And this really pretty lady pushes it once. She pushes it real good. You know... She pushes it once, get out of her car, walks away, pushes it again, and what happens, man? Honk! Honk! Honk if you are horny! Honk! I mean, you know I was like saying, hey! Honk if you're horny! Hey! Honk if you're horny! Hey! Honk if you're horny now! And she's like, push it. Push it real good alone. She's like, push it. Push it real good. Push it. Push it real good, yo! She's like, honk if you're horny. You know, hey. 
You know, today, today, and it's been going on for years, is a thing called the Circle Jerk. <laughs> and this is the Circle Jerk. It's the Circle. It's the Circle Jerk. It's the Circle. It <laughs> is the Circle Jerk. I'm talking about it. It's the Circle. The Circle Jerk. I'm talking about circles. Circles of anything you could ever imagine, you know? Just any kind of circles. Yeah. You get into a circle, and what is it? It's today's fad, man. It's the circle, you know, and it's like the circle. The circle jerk. I'm not kidding you, man. Now, will you try to get into the circle and see if you're accepted? Try to get into the circle. The circle jerk. You know I'm talking about, man. Circles of life, you know. Everyone's trying to jump in and out of circles. Just try to create your own circle, man. Yeah, guys, you know what it is, has been a, just something that has been going on for years and years and years and years and years with pregnant women, and that's, they get cravings, they get what? these cravings, and they just got to have it, you know, and the fact of it is, is that we all get this craving, you know I mean, you get this craving, and I'm running my motorcycle down the interstate, and bam, I get this craving, I've got to have a Dutch Apple pie! Absolutely, <laughs> man! Stop <laughs> off! Get the Dutch apple pie! I'm back on the interstate! One hand on my Dutch apple pie! And one hand on the throttle, you know! People are driving by me, taking pictures! I'm like, man! This is the advertisement, man! It's like, the man's got a Dutch apple pie! With one hand on the throttle, man! It's like... Bam! Advertisement. And I'm thinking, uh, nah, it won't work, man. It won't work because he'll be like breaking the law. 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 You know? But you know what always will remain is that craving. That craving for Dan. Poet man dot com the craving for Daniel Songer, comedian, entertainer, thank you. Oh, well done. See Yay. it just works. So I, 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 didn't realize, I didn't realize that come quite knew what Daniel Songer's been trying to do all along. <laughs> so um God. So Daniel is not just a comedian, he's also an entertainer, and entertainment <laughs> takes many different it takes many different faces. And yeah. so I want to move on to uh to story act two sixty, where Daniel starts to uh grow as an artist to become more of a storyteller rather than a comedian. So uh uh Zarla, if you could uh do us the favor of reading <laughs> Oh, please, let's get down first. Thank you so much to whoever. <laughs> Thank you yeah. so much. Oh my God! Yes. Yay! And, and, and you know what I think? If if you're struggling to understand what's going on, I think when you get to about ten thousand dollars in donations, it'll all start to make sense. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So if you donate, if you donate more money, you'll you'll get you'll you'll understand this a little bit more. Yeah. yeah. Reach enlightenment. <laughs> um. Are you are you prepared, Zarla? Yeah. All right. So off screen, ladies and gentlemen, comedian, entertainer, now storyteller, Daniel Songer's story, Act 260, The Identical Twin. There was a boy that grew up believing in the American dream, and when he became a man, he developed an invention that would give the whole world economy growth. The man's invention reached recognition with the New York Stock Exchange, and his stock soared. The company was now looking for sharp young minds, so they hired a man with amazing credentials. As soon as the new employee re-entered the company, he reinvented the company, and the stocks began to soar again and reached an all-time high. The new employee's talents, inventions, and values had sent a message to the CEO, and soon the new employee was called to the CEO's office. As soon as the new employee entered the CEO's office, he knew that he was looking at himself. That is when the CEO replied, I am looking at myself. <laughs> the CEO and the new employee immediately went and got tested for DNA. And... <laughs> And it was revealed that they were identical twins and blood brothers. <laughs> After a thorough investigation of the twin brothers, it was discovered that they were separated at birth. And as they grew to be men, they each had individual achievements and reached prominence. The twin brothers came together to give these words of wisdom to the world and invigorate world unity. Twin minds, sharp minds, bright minds, unity binds. 
You might ask yourself, why did the company not recognize the new employee as the CEO? The answer is nobody ever sees the CEO because he's always on the golf course. Then came the day of emancipation. The identical twins reunite to encompass world unity. The identical twin. Hey, the words of wisdom, they were really, really awesome for me. The twin minds, sharp minds, bright minds, unity binds. So I wrote a literary achievement that is pure entertainment. And the course is the twin minds, sharp minds, bright minds, unity binds. Wait, what did you write again? I don't know. No. Wait, I wrote a literary achievement. I see. <laughs> I wrote a literary achievement that is pure entertainment. And that song title or the achievement is titled Brain. And if you really want to know something, <laughs> just act brain, just ask brain. All systems react to the chemical transformation. All systems execute the command. Just ask brain, just ask brain. Brain is in your head. Twin minds, sharp minds, bright minds, unity binds. If you really want to know emotion, just ask brain. Brain is in your head, just ask brain. Brain is in your head, memory bank full and on lockdown. Then call on Mother Nature. She will bait your twin minds, sharp minds, bright mm. minds, unity binds, mm. scatter brain, no brain. Look out, here comes the maniac. Brainstorming, thoughts forming. Look out, here comes the brainiac. He's a brainiac, brainiac on the world, and oh. he's thinking like he's never done before. He's a brainiac. Oh, I see. I see what that's supposed to be now. <laughs> He's a brainiac, <laughs> brainiac on yeah. the world. Yeah. <laughs> <Twin> <laughs> I didn't pick that up at first. <laughs> Twin minds, sharp minds, bright minds, unity binds. And if you really want to know, mind enhancement, see brain for advancement. Just ask brain, just ask brain, just ask brain. Brain is in your head, mind enhancement, brain advancement. Just ask brain, just ask brain, just ask brain. Brain is in your head. Twin minds, sharp minds, bright minds, unity binds. Writer Daniel Arslanger, thank you. Uh, I was just want to take a moment to thank all of you who are uh, listening and sticking uh, through <laughs> this very strange document. I and just I, I just want to mention I have no idea who this guy is. Yes, <laughs> and I hope that once you go and see who this gentleman is, that you, you will waste as much time as I have. <laughs> Watching his videos, uh, um, I've, I've, my, I've I've now done uh, two musical remixes of him. <laughs> hey guys! Hey guys! Hey guys. <laughs> he says, "Hey guys!" Uh, a lot. <laughs> hey guys! Uh, be sure to keep uh, sticking around through uh, the the next few coming hours because extra credit is hosting a big block. Oh yeah. Um, Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I, I want to keep the Daniel Songer train rolling. Uh, can, and, can we uh, have, can we offer a donation incentive? Oh yes, I forgot to do that. Uh, yes. So, so Adam has. Uh, yes. has I'll, I'll let you introduce it. You're you. I am me. Um, <laughs> me, the me. Uh, I, I, um, I mean, I'm kind of an amateur uh, drawer and uh, uh, you know marks maker, and um, I am willing to uh, for the 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 next person to donate a hundred and fifty dollars. I will make a tiny little painting of Daniel Songer. And I will send it to your home. And, uh, you know, God willing that the USPS will deliver it. But uh, that's 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 it. I'll definitely scan it before I send it. I'm not an animal. But, uh, yeah, for $150, I will uh, make a little Daniel Songer painting. And then uh, it'll live in your home. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Whoa. Uh, yeah, we just had it. We had an anonymous donation of one hundred and two dollars and fifty six cents, which I guess is thank just you plus fee. But yeah. anonymous, yes, thank you for paying the fees. That's very <laughs> important. Mm -hmm. I do. We do appreciate that, and so does uh, NAF. Um, so while we're while we're waiting on somebody to to you know bid on my painting, and it's fine if nobody does. I'm not. <laughs> Um, I don't care if you'll bid on it. It's yeah, no I mean, no big deal. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I won't have to do it. It'll be great. Oh, oh shame. <laughs> <laughs> Chambois. Yep, shame Boy got it. Shame Boy, shame boy wow, clean it up. <laughs> shame Boy, Just, you're going to have money for food, right? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for your generosity. It. <laughs> we will. I will definitely figure out how to get that to you uh, as soon as, as possible. <laughs> um Continuing on this, uh, is, is there any other business before we move on to the Halloween special? <laughs> I, I could talk about my incentive. I didn't realize we should be. Oh, yes. yes. Let's do, let's do that. I We're mean, going we got, we got everybody incentive. on the line. Let's do sure, another yeah. incentive. 
I mean, I think mine is uh, significantly less impressive. I was thinking originally thirty dollars, and I could do three of these, but I will, you know, do I will invent a dance based on, I guess, your your name or something about you, and I'll make a video of it and I'll send it to you. What's and wait, what was the uh, thirty dollars? I think so, unless you think thirty dollars more, but yeah, thirty dollars seems fine. Yeah, you got to challenge them. Okay, so what is forty dollars. Forty dollars, yeah. <laughs> forty dollars for a, a unique dance. A unique dance, yeah, sure. Well, as a, unique as I can make a it. Unique based new on you. Dance, and it's it's named after you. You named who have thought thought after it after you. Oh, I think I've messed this up. Um, That's fine. Oh, it worked. So. Do we have no? We don't have any Halloween stingers. Okay, fine. Here it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the entertain. Welcome to the entertainment act of a lifetime. This is Entertainment Act Two Thirty One, the Halloween special. Introducing Daniel Songer. Woo. Yay! Hey, hey, Daniel Songer, entertainer. Yes. You know, <laughs> you might say that I'm doing comedy out here, but really everything has become an entertainment. I just want to entertain you. I want to entertain you. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I want to entertain you. Yes, I do. Yes, I want to entertain you. Happy Halloween out there, everybody. Hey, man. Hey, you know what? I'll tell you. There's this one thing that we all do as men, and I mean, you guys got to make this a trend all over the world, man. I mean, it used to be this this way, so I'm going to tell you, it's got to be this way. What you got to do, guys, is you got to start complimenting women. Well, you know what I tell you. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what I did. I complimented this woman on the fact that her dress was so pretty, you know? I'm like... Wow, <laughs> you know, you got to compliment a woman once in a while, man. <laughs> you know, you compliment a woman. Well, I, I told this lady, I said, I said, hey, you know, you got a beautiful, beautiful dress and so colorful, you know? And she said, you should see my panties. Oh, my goodness, what? you know? <laughs> so I said, well, okay, well, you know, and I said, well, what color are they, you know? What color are those panties, baby? And But, uh, guys, she opens her dress and she said, I'm not wearing any panties. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Perfectly timed. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, we are over uh, $10,000, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Beautiful. Wow. Yay. And uh, big thank you to Salubrious Rex and Sin Bucket, who uh, have claimed you dances. will be getting some beautiful dances from me. Oh, so. well done. Yeah. Well done, everyone who has donated so far, and congratulations to everyone who will donate in the future. Uh, this is an amazing, amazing event, and I'm really, really happy to be screaming silly voices into a microphone to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This, is, this, is, this is amazing. What was I saying about Beautiful women. Beautiful, 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 beautiful women. They always get you with the trick question. Trick, <laughs> trick, trick. Could it be a treat? Oh my goodness, man. She ain't wearing no panties. Treat. Man, <laughs> it could be a treat, buddy. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, guys, you guys, you guys remember Barbie? <laughs> Come on, guys. You guys remember the Barbie doll? Yeah, well, oh, God, I got, like, they've been going on for centuries, man, Barbie doll. Well, any rate, the designers, they were sitting around eating pumpkin pie. Yeah, pumpkin pie, man. <laughs> it's the time of the year, pumpkin pu pumpkin butter. Des <laughs> Pump designers sitting around eating pumpkin pie, and they said, hey, you know what? Hey, let's get Barbie a boyfriend, you know? <laughs> because... Because men have a sexual thought every 10 seconds, someone yells out, Let's get Barbie to pump Ken! They did pump that. That's Ken, true. Pump Ken. <laughs> pump Ken. Hey, man, hey! 
We gotta get a new boyfriend for Barbie. Ken, come on, Ken. You can pump, pump. Barbie wants to pump Ken. You know, you know what she does, man. That's why you see Barbie and Ken together, man. Even though they're dolls, dude. Hey, man. Apple Jack got with Captain <laughs> Crunch, and they had a pumpkin, man. Apple Jack oh. got with Captain Crunch, and they had a pumpkin. I'm not kidding you, man. Hey, hey, we hey, just got a, a uh, we just got a three hundred and seven dollar donation from Tower Smith. Wow. Whoa. Thank you so what much. What the fuck? Wow. Thank you, Tawar Oh Smith. my gosh. Play this three times. Bob. <laughs> and one more. Here we go. Okay. Hey, what do you call a pumpkin patch? <laughs> I'm done, you know. I mean, <laughs> you see them out there. What do you call a pumpkin patch is actually a bunch of inbreds. Yeah, man, they're oh. pumpkin Ken, man. They're inbreds. What's wrong with this picture? Pumpkin? Wow, man. Hey, Apple Jack got with pumpkin pie. What do you get then, man? I don't know. It looks like it's gonna be a winner for you. And remember, guys, always compliment your ladies out there because you never know. She'll be saying, I don't have any panties on. <laughs> Daniel Songer, thank you. <laughs> Dude, just, just like hearing all these like one after the other, I never realized just how horny Daniel Songer is. Oh, all time. Oh. <laughs> like many Look comedians, he's very horny. <laughs> <laughs> hey, F plus. That's that's the thing that yeah. makes him most like a comedian. Oh, wait, <laughs> there's only one thing that mean. So much great humor. <clears throat> hey, hey, F plus. Yeah. Hey. Uh oh. It's time for country. <laughs> yeah. Yeehaw. Wait, what? <laughs> Yeehaw. Isfahan. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> hey, it's me again. Daniel Songer, author, singer, songwriter, poet. I even, I've even wrote a couple of screenplays, but I finally figured out what my purpose is in this life, and that's to be a songwriter, and I may need some help in the department of singing. Uh, but you know what they say, practice makes perfect. Um, here is four albums that I wrote here of country. I know y'all country people out there love the country music, and it's coming up, isn't it? It's just like, it's so enlightening, and it just makes you smile, and it keeps you moving forward. Memorable Lane. This song is called Memorable Lane, and this is how it goes. <laughs> I'm a night dreamer and a day gleamer. I'm locked in Memorable Lane. I dwell in the good times, but the bad times try to consume the magic of yesterday. I remember lots of atrocities, so I don't repeat them. And now today, I hold on the fight for the magic of tomorrow. I want to fight, fight, fight. I need what is right, right, right. I'm twisting in the memorable lane. I'm twisting, I'm twisting, I'm twisting in the memorable lane. I'm a night dreamer and a day gleamer. I'm locked in memorable lane. The fire is at my feet and by standing... Still I sink like concrete. Holy shit. And by standing still I sink like concrete. I've got to keep moving on and watch out for the chance to catapult the new paradise. I want to fight, fight, fight. I need what is right, right, right. I'm twisting in memorable lane. I'm twisting, I'm twisting, I'm twisting in memorable. I'm a night dreamer and a big gleamer. I'm locked in memorable lane. Memorable Lane is now a swindle. Forever I will create my memories by the induction up your heart. And the will is to conquer the fight. The challenge brings the extreme and no one's destiny makes the dream. I want to fight, fight, fight. I need what is right, right, right. I'm locked in Memorable Lane. I'm locked in Memorable Lane. I'm twisting. <laughs> I'm twisting in memorable lane. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's a heartbreaking yeah. song. <laughs> just the finger hovering over that button, waiting, waiting for me to finish the song. Oh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh... 
Um, we're coming down to the end of it here, and uh, this next one, uh, this is sort of a uh, one of the more late, uh, uh, one of more recent videos from September of last year. Um, and uh, because of the nature of it, I feel like this is like a pure tag team pandemonium. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. folks, please actively tag in uh, and and tag out your your uh, fellow uh, readers and. Yeah. Uh, and we'll we'll have a lot of fun with this one. And uh, this one, I'll start it off and read at least the off-screen opening for uh, Comedy Act 266, the greatest comedy act alive. <laughs> well, it was 20 years ago today. Daniel joined the band to play. He was running in and out of style, and a lot of them became a pile. Became a pile, but I was guaranteed to raise a smile. It was 20 years ago today. Oh, okay. <laughs> Daniel taught the band to play. Daniel, Daniel, I can hear you from afar. Daniel taught us how to play. It was 20 years ago today. <laughs> now let's play comedian entertainer Daniel Songer. Yeah. Uh, tag. Comedian entertainer Daniel Songer. Comedy Act 266. The greatest comedy act alive. It's alive. Yes, it is. Ah, this is going to be something that is the greatest. Yes, yes, it is. Hey, I hope I'm not speaking for the world, but most of us grew up with a mom and a dad, and the gifts from our mom always was a question. Who is dressing you? I mean, it was a question. Okay, you're all like, who is dressing you? Well... Now you're an old-timer and the question remains the same. Who is dressing you? Who could it be, you know? Who is dressing you? And really, when it comes down to it, not I'm speaking for the world, but who is addressing you? Well, you get the picture. Who is dressing you? Clothes, yes. <laughs> Just reach out to touch me. Clothes, who is dressing you? Tag. Hey, hey you, you know what the funniest thing in life is? Uh, when you start out, you're always pushing your resume. <laughs> yeah, keep pushing that resume, you know, and soon there'll come a day when you'll say, uh, I'm not giving you my resume. Spoken from an accomplished bragger. I saw the light. Yeah, I'm a reform boaster. Poor guy doesn't even have a job, so I say, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing on. Bragger, resume, resume, keep no, pushing. No. It's resume, resume. Oh, you're right. Well, that would make sense, I guess. Resume, resume. <laughs> keep now pushing. it makes sense. <clears throat> yeah. Well, thank God. Keep pushing. Yeah, bragger. Oh, man, we make the world, you know. You keep pushing, and all of a sudden, uh, well, I know he wants me to sing it, but <laughs> we are the champions of the world. Yes, we are, you know, boaster. Tag. Tag. Uh, Okay. Sorry. Hey, have you ever met those people that they start talking out <laughs> right when you're talking? I mean, you're trying to have a conversation and, you know, they just start talking right over top of you. Do you know what that's called? An end of statement. You are done. Trust me. You're done. Of course. <laughs> tag, tag me out. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, you can battle to stay in control of the conversation, you know. Battle! I'm going to talk over you, yeah, but trust me, you are done. End of statement. Your thoughts, I'm not saying nothing. All I'm saying is, you were always on my mind. You were always on my mind. End of statement. That's all you can do. You just sit there and listen. Okay, when can I talk? All right, end of statement. Hey, I want to tell you guys, this is every man's greatest dream, to meet the angel of his dreams. The next, and the next day, you say, I hope it wasn't too obnoxious, you know, and then you find a note in your pocket, and it says, yes, I'm the angel of your dreams, but you're too obnoxious. Okay, okay, I'm obnoxious. And then it says, keep dreaming. So I'm obnoxious, and I'm going to dream, 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 dream. That's all okay. I can do, guys. <laughs> That's all I can do, guys, but dream of the angel in your heart. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah. Hey, you know what, guys? Corporations want you to believe the name of monies is Buck and Bill. That's correct. <laughs> Buck and Bill. What they don't want you to know is the new name, Steve. Did I just 
got did I just got steved? Oh my god. Well, you know what? Most simply, you would think Rob, okay? Yeah, that's pretty simple, Rob. You know, did I just get steved? You know, these people are steving. They're steving. Corporations, corporations, they're steving. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, you just got steved. Okay, uh, you know, we've got to eat food to stay alive. We ought to eat, drink water to stay alive. But within that, there are so many chemicals. And, you know, we have been eating a lot of chemicals. And one chemical mixes with another chemical, and you're like, I'm at but I'm not infectious. Chemical adaptation, chemical collaboration. I'm affectuous, but I'm not infectious. Oh man, all I can say is crazy. Crazy about feeling so blue. But me, I'm, I'm, I'm mad. Yeah, mad about you. Mad about love, you and I. I'm, I'm mad about you. Crazy. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you. Comedian, entertain your Dano song, or I am alive. Thank you. <laughs> Yay! Yay. <laughs> Yay. Hey guys, we are done a little ahead of schedule. So, uh, what did we what did we learn from any of this? Uh, I, I sorry, I looked over at the stream and I saw my throw cushion. Uh... <laughs> <gasps> The deer. Oh wow! The deer. Yeah, because yeah, because uh, before that episode even was finished editing and online, uh, I received in the mail uh, a cushion with that with that very same the deer image, uh, hey. and, and that and that and that like ugly sort of purplish maroon color. <laughs> that, Pucks, can, ugly. We a, can we get a clear view of your masterpiece yeah and, and also yeah the full masterpiece of the of the collage of insanity that Hux has uh, prepared for us is really something. Yeah, um, uh, I'm very impressed. So, I'll tell you what I learned from this. Yes. from this hour, uh, I have a confession to make. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, as as you all know, uh, the internet is a strange place with a lot of. So there's, there's a lot to absorb on the internet. You know, mm-hmm. one might even say it's infinite. Mm-hmm. I have never watched a Daniel Songer video. What? I have never actually heard Daniel Songer speak. Oh, so I am in a- fact I am your control group for this experiment. <laughs> we can make a club, come on, so, almost, almost anybody used to play TF2 with us back in the day. We'd have heard Daniel Songer speak. There's, I probably have, but that, to me, that's weird. TF2. Stuff. Frank, Frank West can is I- calling you a liar, by the way. <laughs> oh yeah, no, <laughs> Frank West said the same thing. That's a lie. He heard can it. I, in can, TF2. I, can, I qu- can I quickly <laughs> ask a clarifying question of Quan- come what's up? Uh, have you seen uh, Chris Farley's uh, motivational speaker <laughs> sketch from SNL? Probably not. The, the, Foley, okay. the man, uh, Matt Foley. Uh, Van, yeah, Van down by the river. Yeah, it's basically it's basically ah. that uh, three hundred times. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but no jokes yeah. though. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, no. To, to Frank West's point, I probably have heard sound clubs clips of it on TF2, but I've never I've never watched the video or associated it with this. So, you know, to me, I was just interpreting. I was reading that straight. That was my interpretation of that text <laughs> there. Yeah, it kind of wasn't too far off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, yeah, I um, like reading, like reading out a transcript of what he what he says. Yeah. Like it, it hits you different than when you're watching his videos because here, like the the Adderallly nature of it really comes out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I mean, where, like he's trying laughing. to almost like channel that Robin Williams kind of stream of consciousness comedy, but mm-hmm. Robin Williams did that coked up really hard. <laughs> well, try, trying to do it calm and say you know that many times, just I, I couldn't fucking handle it anymore. It was too yeah. much. <laughs> um, I did also learn we have really great fans. Who have gotten us to another pretty good number yeah. in donations? Yeah. And, uh, oh yeah. Yeah, it is and worth highlighting that the current donation total is ten thousand dollars, ten thousand four hundred sixty-nine dollars and sixty-nine cents. Yeah, it's great. It's nice. great. We have such amazing fans that nice. show nice. up for such a great cause. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. and, uh, and I really hope they stick around for the next, uh, for the next hour and the next four hours. In fact, are going to be hosted by my very good friend, Shell Game. 
uh, mm-hmm. along with the uh, a, a a good chunk of the cast of extra credit, and they're going to take over the stream for a little bit while uh, I take a little nap. <laughs> that sounds sweet delight. Boots. Um, and then uh, and Hux is going to be here for uh, for another hour, and then uh, we'll see where it goes from there. Stay tuned. Bye. All right. <laughs>